novels, poems, scientific and philosophical works wandered out unnoticed after the poor librarian gave his démission éplore on the 1st of August, 1884. They crossed lawns and traveled along hedges somewhat in the manner of the objects, carried away by the invisible man in Wells' delightful tale, and landed in Ardor's lap wherever she and Van had their trysts. Both sought excitement in books, as the best readers always do. Both found in many renowned works pretentiousness, tedium, and facile misinformation. In a story by Chateaubriand about a pair of romantic siblings, Ardor had not quite understood when she first read it at nine or ten, the sentence, quote, Les deux enfants pouvant donc s'y abandonner à plaisir sans aucune crainte, end of quote. A body critic and a collection of articles which she now could gleefully consult, Le Muses C'est Amusement, explained that the don referred both to the infertility of tender age and to the sterility of tender consanguinity. Van said, however, that the writer and the critic erred, and to illustrate, illustrate his contention, drew his sweetheart's attention to a chapter in the opus, quote, Sex and Lex, end of quote, dealing with the effects on the community of a disastrous caprice of nature. In those times, in this country, quote, incestuous, quote, incestuous, end of quote, meant not only, quote, unchaste, end of quote, the point regarded linguistics rather than legalistics, but also implied in the phrase incestuous cohabitation, and so forth, interference with the continuity of human evolution. History had long replaced appeals to, quote, divine law, end of quote, by common sense and popular science. With those considerations in mind, quote, incest, end of quote, could be termed a crime only inasmuch as inbreeding might be criminal. But as Judge Bald pointed out already during the albino riots of 1835, practically all North American and Tartar agriculturalists and animal farmers used inbreeding as a method of propagation that tended to preserve and stimulate, stabilize and even create a new favorable characters in a race or strain unless practiced too rigidly. If practiced rigidly, incest led to various forms of decline, to the production of cripples, weaklings, muted mutates, and finally, to hopeless sterility. Now that smacked of crime. And since nobody could be supposed to control judiciously orgies of indiscriminate inbreeding somewhere in Tartary 50 generations of ever woollier and woollier sheep had recently ended abruptly in one hairless five-legged impotent little lamb and the beheading of a number of farmers failed to resurrect the fat strain it was perhaps better to ban, quote, incestuous cohabitation, end of quote, altogether. Judge Bald and his followers disagreed, perceiving in the, quote, deliberate suppression of a possible benefit for the sake of avoiding a probable evil, end of quote, the infringement of one of humanity's main rights, that of enjoying the liberty of its evolution, a liberty no other creature had ever known. 
Unfortunately, after the rumored misadventure of the Volga herds and herdsmen, a much better documented fate diverse happened in the USA at the height of the controversy. An American, a certain Ivan Ivanov of Yukonsk, described as an, quote, habitually intoxicated laborer, end of quote, quote, a good definition, end of quote, said Ardor lightly, quote, of the true artist, end of quote, managed somehow to impregnate in his sleep, it was claimed by him and his huge family, his five-year-old great-granddaughter, Maria Ivanov, and then five years later also got Maria's daughter, Daria, with child, in another fit of somnolence. Photographs of Maria, a ten-year-old granny with little Daria and baby Varia crawling around her, appeared in all the newspapers, and all kinds of amusing puzzles were provided by the genealogical farce that the relationships between the numerous living and not always clean leaving members of the Ivanov clan had become an angry Yukonsk. Before the 60-year-old somnambulist could go on procreating, he was clapped into a monastery for 15 years as required by an ancient Russian law. Upon his release, he proposed to make honorable amends by marrying Daria, now a buxom lass with problems of her own, Journalists made a lot of the wedding and the shower of gifts from well-wishers, old ladies in New England, a progressive poet in residence at Tennessee Waltz College, an entire Mexican high school, etc. And on the same day, Gamaliel, then a stout young senator, thumped a conference table with such force that he hurt his fist and demanded a retrial and capital punishment. It was, of course, only a temperamental gesture, but the Ivanov affair cast a long shadow upon the little matter of, quote, favorable inbreeding, end of quote. By mid-century, not only first cousins, but uncles and grandnieces were forbidden to intermarry, and in some fertile parts of Estity, the Isba windows of large peasant families in which up to a dozen people of different size and sex slept on one blin like mattress were ordered to be kept uncurtained at night for the convenience of petrol torch flashing patrols, quote, peeping pats, end of quote, as the anti-Irish tabloids called them.